Okay, web leaders, let's bring it together, please. So, I want to just make sure before we, before I just jump in and get started, I want to make sure of a couple things. Everyone has a blue packet, right? Everyone has a pencil. Every group has a bag that I just handed out, right? Okay. Um, some of this, what we're about to do now, uh, some of this, you know, if you have a good memory, you might remember some of these activities from spring play day back in May. It was like two days before school ended or something like that. Um, but what we're doing now is we are going to be introducing to you the very core or the most important part of uh, the sixth grade orientation. So once you get into what's going to happen at, at some point uh, after the first, I think it's 45 minutes, maybe an hour or so, you're going to break apart into these small groups, kind of like you are right now, and it will be you, and instead of all of your web leader friends around you, it's going to be sixth graders, okay? And so what you have in front of you is you have this leader notebook or handbook, and let's go ahead and turn that, open it up one page. Uh, we're going to skip the... The one that says logistics and timeline for orientation day, we're going to skip that for now. We'll deal with that tomorrow, okay? And we're going to start with the, the page that says leader introduction, okay? And so now I want you to imagine that scenario that I just mentioned a moment ago. You're sitting in this circle. You've got eight or nine sixth graders, and they're looking at you, okay? See, this is why we have this meeting right now, so you know what to say, right? So the very first thing you're going to need to do is to introduce yourself to these wonderful students, right? They want to know who you are, and you want to be able to tell them, and you want to be able to communicate with them in a, um, uh, shall we say, logical and uh, uh, effective way, okay? So if you look on that um, uh, piece of paper there, the very first, the leader introduction, you know, it's got a bunch of stuff on there, and it says a few things. It says, uh, right up at the top, uh, tells you a little bit about introducing yourself. Why is a good introduction important? Because it's your first impression. It's your first impression. Has anybody ever heard the saying, you never get a second chance to make a first impression? Has anybody ever heard that? Mm -hmm. It's kind of true, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of true. I mean, sure, sure, you can change people's minds, but that very first impression, it kind of matters, right? So first impression, it is, you could say, in fact, you can go ahead and write this down in that box there. It is the first impression of you. It is the first thing that they will notice. The first thing the sixth graders will notice. We talked about norms a minute ago and how important it is to do certain things and stuff like that. You know, if you were uh, not following your norms right now and you were kind of off in la-la land or you're thinking about what you're going to do when we get out of here and you miss this whole part and then you went and sat down in front of those sixth graders, what's their first impression going to be? Like, this person has no idea what they're talking about. Why should I listen to them? Right? You want to come across as confident and knowledgeable and they're going to lean in and they're going to say, tell me more. Tell me what I need to know. Right? Okay. Elements of a good introduction. What are some things you need to do or to show or how you should be if you're going to make a good and effective introduction? Uh, lots of energy. Lots of energy. Positive energy, right? Include the basics. Say again? Include the basics. Include the basics. Like name and stuff. Name, your name and you got to get, okay. get your name right, don't you? Yeah. Everybody know what their name is? No. Be confident. Be confident, okay? Hey, can I Perfect. expand on that? Yes. Yeah. What's one way you think you can show confidence? Like, what's one thing you can do with your body to show confidence? I could, like, um, sit up, and be super energetic, and, like, instead of just, like, being really quiet, you could, like, be... <laughs> so one thing you said I think is great is sitting up, sitting up straight, mm -hmm. so that they see that confidence, which is not, what's another way? You can high five all of them, just meet them. You can high five them, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you have to eye contact. That's what I was hoping for. Kay. Eye contact. Yeah, that shows your confidence, right? If you're okay. able to make eye contact, lift it up. Okay. Sorry. 
not too repetitive because like mm -hmm. when you repeat things a lot it kind of gets boring and you don't really want to yeah you don't want to repeat repeat things too much right maybe once if it's like something really really important but for the most part you don't really want to repeat yourself that's true okay so <coughs> What you see below in the, the second half of that page towards the bottom, you see that table there and it, ha it says ideas to talk about for my introduction on training days. Okay? And so the, the first thing to, um, that we're going to kind of work on here today is this. And you'll see it's kind of divided into three sections. I mean, these aren't like, you know, I guess if there's something on here you really, really want to tell them, I guess you can. But generally speaking... Uh, these things are going to fall into three categories. The first thing you're going to tell them about is what your life is like in school. Who are you as a student at Southview? Okay? The second thing you're going to talk about is what is, just a little bit, what is your life like outside of school? Obviously, you're not going to get like too overly personal or anything like that, but you're just going to share with them a little bit about, hey, when I'm not in school, this is who I am, this is what I do. Okay? And then why you chose to be a web leader. Okay? So I'm going to give you a moment uh, in just a minute to uh, talk through that, or sorry, to write some ideas down about what you would say, and then we'll get a, some practice time in there too. Um, you know, obviously as a web coordinator, I've done this a few times, so I've got a few things here. So here's an example of how this might go, right? Mm -hmm. And so if I was uh, introducing myself to Ms. Harris, you know, I might come over to her and say, hi, uh, I'm Mr. Griggs. How are you? Good. Good, nice. good. It's good to see you today. Thanks. Yeah. So um, a little bit about me. Uh, I am a 8th grade social studies teacher here at Southview. I'm also a web coordinator, uh, and I really love both, doing both of those things. When I'm not at school, I really enjoy riding my bicycle, spending time with my family. Um, I like to play sports, uh, especially basketball. Basketball is a big favorite of mine. Anybody else like to, do you like to play basketball? No. No? That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. But it's one of my favorites. Awesome. Um, you and then like the Minnesota United. I do also like to watch soccer. Minnesota United is a, a, good, a good team, and I like going to the games. They're a lot of fun. Cool. Um, and then also, um, you know, I chose to be a web coordinator because I think it can really change and help, or help change the culture of a school. And I think that um, the work that we do as web leaders is very, very important for South Korea. Awesome. Okay? Something like that. Okay? I'm not going to say that was perfect. But you know what? It was, I think, okay, pretty good. I know right? a lot about you now. Good, right? So um, you get a chance to talk a little bit about yourself, tell people who you are, uh, and that is a very, very important, very first thing that you'll be asked to do with sixth graders, okay? So why don't we take a few minutes. I'll let, give you some time to brainstorm, to think about how would you fill those boxes? What would you say when introducing yourself to sixth graders. I'm noticing some of you are starting to finish up, which is totally fine. If you feel that you're ready for this, you can, with someone in your circle, you can go ahead and start practicing introducing yourself. Okay, web leaders, let's bring it back in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's bring it back. Let's do this. Uh, please uh, maintain the integrity of your circles. In other words, reform your circles. Okay. Now, uh, up at the top left of your page, there it's kind of hiding up there behind the staple. So if you see, there's that arrow, and it says G2G. Everybody see that? That means, that means good to great. That's what that stands for. Good to great. Now, each one of these activities that we're going to work on, uh, they all have a good to great. Okay? So for this one, the good to great is, and you probably want to write this one down, because this is really important. It is tell stories, don't just list. Tell stories, don't just list. Okay? And what that means is, I kind of did this myself when I was doing the example. I kind of did this. And this is an easy trap to get into. It kind of takes practice. But I just kind of said all these things I, I like to do. Like I said, I like to play basketball. Right? 
And instead of saying, I like to play basketball, and then going on to the next thing, just like, you know, saying stuff, I could have said something like, I like to play basketball. In fact, I like to play basketball so much, on Friday mornings, I get up uh, super early, and I come in here to Southview, and I play with the other teachers in the gym. It's one of the things we do here at Southview. Okay? That, for example, I could have said that. Just anything. It doesn't have to be, like, mind-blowing. Just something to tell a little bit of a story so you get a better picture. You probably, since I said that, you have this little bit of a, a better picture of me playing basketball than if I just said, I like to play basketball. Does that make sense? Right? Or if you, um, uh, whatever you wrote down or whatever you're going to say, have a little story to tell. Okay? It makes it so much more interesting. Okay? All right. <clears throat> Questions on that? Okay? Seems kind of simple, I suppose, but a very, very important thing. Because, again, just to sort of wrap this up, it's going to be the very first time you're in front of these uh, students. One of the first things you're going to have to do. So make sure you practice that and you're ready to go on that, okay?